Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and I have randomized our character. We're going in as Kane this time, which is a pretty good one to start with. Kane is generally a bit more powerful than some of the other characters. Um, although, he has started with an active item that I do not recognize. Um, I'm very confused by this. What is what is going on here? It's just a rock that we can throw at enemies. What, why has he started with that? What mod's doing that? I'm very unsure, but it seems terrible. <laughs> Okay, very confused as to why we've got the pebble that deals one damage and has a 0.5 chance um, the projectile instantly kills the enemy hit. Why Why do I have this? Does anyone know what mod's causing that? I've literally never seen that before. Um, I haven't played Kane in a little while, mind you, but still it's weird. Anyways. Ooh, Spolonka's hat is pretty good, I'll take it. Um... Anyways, how is everybody on this fine finder? How, like, question of the day today. Do you prefer warm or cold weather? And on top of that, I think I have asked that before. How do you prefer to stay warm or stay cool? Depending on your climate and where you are. Yeah, we, I, I love having Spelunker's hat for the secret rooms. But I actually, I think the better feature is this extended... Um, oh, I got a leg spike there. Uh, this uh, this extended um, thingy that you have, like extended view of rooms. I really like that effect. It's really, really good. Oh, soul heart there's lovely. Don't lose it to this guy immediately. I maybe could have actually pushed him into that secret room wall. But, oh well, it's fine. Oh, we got some bombs here. Uh, ooh, mini Isaac, no. No, mini Isaacs, no. Don't ruin this for me. Yes! <laughs> I really thought there were going to be a problem then. Okay, we got two, um... Two thingies here. Um... Bombs here for secret rooms, so I'm pretty happy with that. I just had a really good experience this morning as well. I'm, 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 I'm having a very, very good day at the moment. Basically, I went to the gym this morning um, with my girlfriend just to do some walking uh, to start the day off. Ooh, hello. Oh, we got wavy cap. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why? <laughs> I mean, I'd like to take it for the meme potential, but it's just terrible. <laughs> it's just no good. It is a fun guy transformation, I guess. Um, I just, I just don't see the value in it really. And there's a trinket there. Uh, I, I don't actually know what to do with that room, to be honest. Let's bomb this first. Go in here. Hey, oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. What, what do we get for these? Oh, these are just literally just maggots. I'll take both of these, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm undecided on, on this room here, what to do with it, I'll be honest. Because I can get a golden chest, which is good enough, I guess. I, I guess I'll just take the golden chest, because I'm just not going to use wavy cap even if I grab it. It's not even, like, a streak thing of, is it too risky? It's just bad. It's just straight up bad, and we got a lot of money out of that, so I think that was a pretty good purchase there. Pretty good idea. Um... But yeah, I'm having a really good day today, because basically, like I said, I went to the gym, and just generally, I think going to the gym in the morning, having a nice little walk, is a nice way to start the day. Uh, but, there's actually this guy, uh, this, this older gentleman, that um, I used to see in the gym a lot. Ooh. Um, cyst is good stuff, I think I'll take cyst. I'd like to get moving box as well, to be honest, but we can't afford it. Um, this old gentleman that I, I, I see in the gym quite a lot, especially when I used to go quite regularly. He used to basically always be in there. Um, and he, he, he'd just be chilling on the bikes. Um, and we'd just sort of nod to each other in sort of acknowledgement that, like, hey, it's you again sort of thing. Um, and we kind of slowly sort of started talking a little more and went to the gym and, and saying hi and stuff. And I hadn't seen him in a really, really long time. Maybe like a year, because I just hadn't been going to the gym much, um... And when I had been going, I just wasn't at times that he was there. So I hadn't seen him in quite a while. But I saw him this morning, um, and I ended up having like quite a long conversation with him, just sort of catching up. But he was very complimentary about my weight loss, because the last time he saw me, I was a lot heavier than I am now. And it's just put me in a very, very good mood. He was it, it's just a very, very nice person. Um, and I I don't know, it was just, just sort of made my day. It was very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So I'm in a, I'm in a particularly good mood today. I'm not in such a good mood about the insane amount of flies this guy is puking out, though. Can you please just chill out for one goddamn minute? My god, this is egregious. There you go. We got there in the end. Normally, I'd just use a bomb on this guy, but we don't have any. 
Okay, and we get this, which I think will be a damage down to begin with. Uh, no, uh, yeah, it's a damage down, but overall it's, it's good for us. I will take all these pills as well. Because we have, of course, better pills as this guy. Right, not feeling comfortable on a mother run for this one so far, especially with that damage down we just received. We do always have the high damage fair shot though, so we're able to... That was actually pretty bad of me there. But we're always able to instantly kill something at the start of the room, which is rather nice. We just got to make sure we actually hit with it. We've got to remember we have cysts, because I end up firing the moment I walk in a room and missing enemies a lot of the time. Let's go straight to the item room here. Kind of missed that originally. But yeah, we, we obviously took a bit of a damage down here. But damage is still fine. Um, but it'll build back up. Lovely stuff. Yeah, Cyst is really good for just that insta-kill. Because 10 times damage is uh, quite something. Or is it 20 times damage? Because we're at 60 damage with it. Um, and our base damage is only 3.3. .3, so really it should be 33 damage. But it's going up to 60. Not quite sure why. Uh, killing an enemy provides a diminishing tears multiplier. We've had this before. This is pretty good. This is pretty darn good. Ooh, that was almost close. I don't know whether I should use my bomb on the tinted rock here. Do you know what? Based on that hit, I definitely am going to. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. But yeah, we get tears that uh, diminish slowly. It's, it's not a great bonus, but it does stack up pretty quick if you start killing enemies quickly. The more damage we get, the better that's going to be for us. Ah, but I didn't realize you were going to dive that way, you little prick. Hey, there's some extra bombs. Lovely. Do this so we can get the chest and this room. Oh, really? That still hit me? Okay. Um, just a sad face here. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't grab anything in there. Yeah, that was a bit of a bad loss of a, of a soul heart there. My my bad. My bad. We've almost got enough for shop as well, so we'll keep that in mind. Good, good. But you can see this tears up is, is providing us with some benefits here. Oh, we got happy poos now. I forgot we unlocked those in the previous episode. Oh, that was actually on the, the, the save file. These are regularly here for this save file. Ah. Oh. Fuck's sake, we got the time wasters that like to sit over rocks. It's okay though. Spider, Spider unboxing. unboxing. Ah, I did that thing there where I just fired off my uh my tear straight away. Cool, and then in here. We could trade um trade a heart for like a heart container for some stuff here, but probably not worth it. Honestly, I don't think this room's gonna give us much. Again, I did it again. I fired the moment I got into the room. I need to be way more sort of thoughtful about Sist as an item. But you can see our tears up now is is, is is lasting a little while. It's being more useful to us. Obviously, it will fade over the course of this fight because we're not going to be killing anything else. But do some stuff for us. Let's try and get that point 0.1 chance to instantly kill. I don't think that's ever going to be worth using. I, I honestly don't even understand why the pebble exists. But it's here. A mod is clearly adding it. I don't have any mod that I know of that would add that. It must be like Community Remix on Milkshake. They're the only two I can think of that I've enabled recently that could potentially do that. Monstro is obviously not an issue. I'm hoping we get a damage up here so that our uh, Mum Suppository actually takes effect and starts uh, giving us more damage off the back of that. That is a bit of damage. That is something. Um, yeah, we got one whole damage out of that. I think we're just going to go here. I think Angel Deal is preferable, so let's go down. Um, if my health was a little bit higher, I'd go for Devil Deal, but I think right now Angel Deal is the way to go. See, there you go. Yeah, just, just try and remember that Cyst exists. Don't waste it. You're a bit annoying, aren't you? Hey, there's a bomb. Lovely. I'm liking getting all these bombs while we have these secret rooms available to us. Hey, what's this? Slows Isaac and all enemies in the room. I mean, I've, I've got... Hmm. It didn't give me a speed down, so I'm unsure what it means, but we're going to try this out. Slows Isaac and all enemies in the room. It's an item, not a consumable as well, so... Slows Isaac and all enemies in the room. Maybe it's like a random chance, because it definitely hasn't slowed down this room at all. Probably should have waited to get some red hearts before I did that. So I, I'm unsure exactly um, as to 
when this will take effect slash how, because it doesn't seem to do anything right now. But we'll find out. It's a quality one, so I can't imagine it's a great item, but it is a secret room item, which means it's usually a bit wacky. Maybe, it, like, the game is slowed down by 10%, and I'm just not noticing, but it really doesn't feel like it right now. The game feels like exactly the same speed. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Golden button. Uh, I don't particularly like this item, but I'll take it. I will, um... Exhaust this golden button for uh, whatever it'll give us. Unfortunately, not a whole lot. Um, we can do that though. Hey, here's some bombs. It's lovely stuff. Bomb you first. Good haul out of that. We've got enough for our shop now as well. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And that bad boy as well. I love having like secret room knowledge as well because I I. I I, I know secret rooms pretty well, but there's obviously so many times that, like, you just think, oh, that could be a secret room, and it's not. So now we just don't have to do any of that guesswork. If we get enough bombs to keep sort of fueled and ready to go, then we're, we're always going to get the secret room. It's lovely. Like I said as well, like, Spolunker's hat, it used to be an item that was just so, like, I wouldn't say it was valueless, but it was so ununique. It did the same thing as many other items and n didn't do anything any better. But now it protects you from things falling on your head. And it gives you one extra room of sight, which, considering you have that little flashlight on your head, is really good. In fact, I'd, I'd maybe go as far as to say Nightlight should do something similar as well. Just because Nightlight on its own is pretty bad. Um, and it's, it's kind of the idea of having this light to guide you, I guess. I, I, it doesn't need it, I suppose, but it would be kind of be nice. Um... We'll look the second secret room at the minute, which will likely be up over this way. Lovely stuff. Extra money. Yeah, there it is. Second secret room. Being able to see which way to go before we actually go that way is really nice. Being able to see what's a dead end and what's not. That's like my dream in eyes. Like, I, I hate taking wrong ways that like have no relevance to the run. Again, with the firing, as soon as I enter the room, I need to stop. Probably should have used that guy to open this up, but oh well. We got some D8s, but I think they're a bit difficult to utilize. I think right now I'm just going to do that and see if we get anything good out of this. There you go, we've got a luck penny and stuff. Um, nothing much else in here that I want, though. I guess I should destroy the poops, really. To see if we get, like, something good. Nah, unfortunately not. D8s are just, like, that's another thing where it's like, I'm not, I'm not not risking it because it's the streak. I'm not risking it because I think the vast majority of times, the D8s, especially the glass ones, aren't worth using. If you have a, um, if you have the actual D8 item, yeah, it's worth using a lot more. Ooh. Aubrey, once per floor when entering a shop, a weapon beggar will spawn. Uh, weapon beggars take coins and spawn only active items from every pool. Um, okay, that's pretty good. And honestly, the click is pretty good as well. We'll also grab this. We, we want to be tap firing to make sure we're making the most of uh, the clicker. It does kind of strain us a little bit, but... A little bit late. Thank you, game. But oh well. Right. Keep going. Yeah, I guess I really like the clicker. I wonder if there's a way to... Like, I wonder if our first click will do, like, 70 damage. I'm, I'm curious to see if that's how that works. I think it will. Well, it won't do 70 damage. It'll do 7 damage. You know what I mean, though. Um, yeah, the first one did 7 damage. Okay, that's kind of nice. I wonder if there's a way we can manipulate that. Oh man, this guy's uh, a little tricky right now. He is spreading his poison far and wide. Hey, there's Petrified Poop finally. A little bit, little bit late. Oh man, bad hit there. I didn't see there was creep. But we can at least hit him with some of these tears. Oh man, the click is good, but it, it gives me RSI. Man, this guy needs to chill. I've ne I don't think I've ever seen him bomb this much. This is insane. Angel deal, lovely stuff. 
Monstrance, it isn't great, but somewhat useful. I'll bomb this as well. Unfortunate. Right, I, I could do the other side, but I'd like to keep my bombs, really. Monstrance is pretty decent. I'm not I'm not uh, the biggest fan of it as an item, but I think it's, like, good extra damage. One minute, I have some notifications. Right, cool. Okay, we've got plenty of keys to work with here, so we can take a look in here. We can also make our way down over here. Unfortunately, our Aubrey uh, sprite has gone away so soon. Lovely stuff. Hey, we can get that weapons beggar now for the active items, which I really like. Uh, I will use this, but once I've got more red hearts available, I do just realize I just threw away a mini Isaac uh, red heart. That's a full run reroll. I actually don't think I want that. Um, I think our run's in a pretty good spot right now. Yeah, we want to try and sit near the enemies to uh, get monstrance going. It's a bit weird having the clicker, because you see the damage the clicker does, but obviously you've not got spider, baby, so you can't see the rest of your damage. Spider mod, sorry. Um, so you can't see the rest of your damage, so it's kind of slightly, I won't say off-putting, but like, slightly weird. To be able to see some dam damage numbers and not all of them. Lovely stuff. I do like the way the clicker always targets the furthest enemy away from you, too. I think that's a good way of doing it. And then in here, we've got random... Ooh, Celestial Berry's pretty good stuff. We also got a crawl space, quite luckily, as well. Um, ooh, 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 I'm unaware of how this is meant to work. I see, okay, I think I see now. I've got to wait for them, and they'll suck me up here. Ah, that's a pretty cool way of doing the shroom, to be honest. While in sack for some extra bombs. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. We got an Eternal Heart from uh, Celestial Berry, I think, here. Well, Celestial Berry is good. We get Flight in rooms. We also get a Fire Rate boost and a small damage boost as well. But it's, it's good for rooms like this where Flight actually allows you to gain stuff you wouldn't otherwise be able to grab. I mean, I lost that Burn Heart literally instantly. That was pathetic. But, uh, you know what I'm saying. What would really be nice though is Spectral to go along with that flight. And in here we've got this man. Oh, there we go. We've got one of the weapons beggars there, look. We've got plenty of money to work with and we're not using our active right now, so I'm happy to uh to to play this guy. Try and get a better active. Apparently he can throw out pay out with up to three active items. I don't know how much money he generally takes. There's one. Everlasting Pill, that has been a, a, a fan favourite. Ooh, Hedonist Cookbook, the... I mean, I'm going to keep playing him because I don't really need my money for too much and we might get a better active, but Hedonist Cookbook is very, very good. Okay, it's from Community Remix, the pedal. I wonder why that exists. Dusty D10, okay. We'll definitely take the Hedonist Cookbook because this thing is, like, absurdly strong. Um... It just kills all enemies of the lowest HP in the room. Like, look at that. <laughs> Literally, room over. And it's a two- the fact that it's a two room charge, it should definitely be at least a three room charge. The fact that it's a two room charge is, is outrageous. Spider unboxing. I did, I did hear slow down then. Maybe I only slow down uh, from that item after I take damage. Also, they, they do this spewing thing when they die as well. You can see that there. Try our best to not get hit here, but this guy's a little bit, little bit difficult. There you go, lovely stuff. Damage up, please. Ah, HP up's fine. Um, think I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go here. Right. Um, down we go. I keep accidentally having my timer on. All right. Tap. There you go. So we have good enough speed to be able to easily get to our uh, our thingy as well. A Celestial Berry. Uh, tinted Rocks have 75% chance to spawn. 
Not a massive fan of those, because they don't they don't increase the chance at all of um They don't increase the chance at all of actually getting tinted rocks. If they increase the chance of getting tinted rocks, I'd be well on them. But Ow. Right, what we got here? 7 8 chance to gain one random benefit on entering the next floor. The trinket is always destroyed on entering the next floor. That seems interesting. It says to gain one random beneficial effect. We'll see what that means. Oh, there's a look up there. If I'd have got the berry, I'd be able to get over to that. Slightly sad. Could be all burn hearts. Never really know when to use that. I feel like now is definitely not the time. Trying to use monstrants here to get some damage on the smaller ones. Oh, they click away at these ones. Yeah, I never really know when to use this. Also, what's with the things turning into water bottles? It happens so often. I'd like to get a, a heart here so I can uh, fill up this burn heart before it gets destroyed, but we'll see if that ends up happening or not. Ah, bugger, this guy's annoying. Beautiful stuff. Now I can go in here and take advantage of this. I will open up all of these, to be honest. Lockbox, very, very good. Nice. Block, uh, block projectiles when hit, 20% chance to shield eyes in 5 seconds. Nice. Wow, that was, that was pretty worthwhile. Good stuff. Okay. I guess I'll bomb this. Why not? Give me that sticky sticky. Hello, sir. You are holding a contraband. I know you are. But I don't know if I want the contraband. Apparently it can't target these dudes when their head's down. Kind of interesting. We've been secret room. Yes, we have. What do we find in secret room? Wait, no, how? No, have we? I don't think we've been secret room. Why is it little? We definitely hadn't. Uh, Emperor card we'll hold on to. Uh, I'll bomb through here to not use a key as well. Little gish. Not the best, but I'll take him. He's definitely a friend. What's with these ghost enemies? They're everywhere right now. One of them keeps spawning right next to his hearse as well. And then here, we've got the weapons guy again. Think I'm just going to take this. What, what floor are we on? Depths. Ah, do you know what? I'll play him a little bit more and just see, like I said, if there's anything better out there. The cookbook is still really good and I'm probably likely to stick with it. But if he can give you any active item in the game, like, I mean, just that as a book. Like, giving us an additional book is closer to bookworm, so it did something regardless of us not wanting to take it. But, like, you could get, like, Mega Blast or anything out of this guy. You could get Magic Mush, uh, Mega Mush, sorry. Like, imagine that. We definitely need some damage up because our damage right now isn't great. Extra bomb there. Fire is like fucking climbing with this uh this Tammy's tail item. Fire it's in a good spot. It does cap out at five though, as you can clearly see. Lovely stuff. I don't want the copper bomb, thank you. Ah oh my god, that was stupid. We are building up luck from our uh, berries. It's not crazy amounts, but it's something. 
Don't know why that one didn't die as well there. That was kind of strange. Oh, beautiful, man. Like, look at that. That's, this 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 item on a two-room charge is just obscenely good. Oh, hello. A shop. I mean, I'll definitely buy the puzzle piece because that last one needed. Puzzle piece. Unfortunately, it's just Smart Fly, which I think without BFF is not very good. It used to be insane, but we'll take it. Oh, God. I've got, like, a frog in my throat. <clears throat> oh, I apologize. Okay, we're on to the boss here. We've seen our item room, we've seen our shop, we're good to go. So far, the streak is uh, the streak is safe. The streak is feeling good. Cool, okay. That uh, kills that guy even though he's invincible as well, that's kind of good. Oh, that just destroys all the rocks in the room. Nice one. Binky finally getting an actual tears up that's solid that allows us to go over cap. That's lovely stuff. Don't use our Emperor on this floor. We don't want to go straight to Mum here. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, that was our special effect that we got granted. I, I genuinely have no idea what it was. and My trinket did break, so if anyone can suss out exactly what special effect I was granted there, that would be lovely, but I have legitimately absolutely no idea. What's going on here? I see. You're being a bit kooky. Oh god, he almost got me. Question is, is it worth going to the, the thingy cash room here? Yeah, I've got enough HP to make it work and I've got flight there. Um, This is kind of tricky because I obviously do want my Emperor card, but this, as I said, misprinted Joker is what I thought it could be. It's very, very good. I'll take that instead. Basically, this is going to allow us to um, re-roll items into Devil or Angel items, which obviously pretty darn useful. But yeah, this book is killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. But yeah, as I was saying earlier in the episode, it's, it's just really nice to, like, receive a compliment, especially from, like, someone who is effectively a stranger. Like, he's not a stranger stranger. Like, I, I, I've, I've spoken to him before, but, like, someone that doesn't really know me, and it's just, like, people are just... Sometimes it's just nice to, like, run into someone that's just genuinely kind. Also, a curved horn here is amazing, plus three damage. I'm glad that we took that star thing now, because uh, we didn't have a trinket to replace with. So that that's, that's put us in a better spot damage-wise by a huge margin here. We're getting more damage out of Curved Horn as well because of the fact that we have Mum's Depository, which is why it's almost always worth taking. Sometimes it can make the early game a little more rough, but in the end, it's usually worthwhile. Okay, I think we went the wrong way here. We're up to 100 damage there as well. Not sure where we're going to use our misprinted Joker. I haven't really thought that far ahead, um, but probably if we get a bad item room here, we'll use it. Like, I just, there's so many things with this cookbook that don't make sense. Why is it a two-room charge? Why does it, is it able to insta-kill so many enemies in one go? Why do they have to then spear out tears and creep? It's just, it's so overtuned. For what it is. It needs turning back a little bit. I mean, I'm going to abuse it while it's like it is. Um, spawn a golden trinket on pickup on use, grind your current trinket now. Nah. I mean, we'll pick it up, obviously, to just see what golden trinket it gives us. Ah, plus luck. It's good, but, I mean, it just does, it doesn't have a chance of replacing what we've got right now. Ow. Taking some dumb damage here, but luckily our health is in a position where dumb damage isn't that bad of a thing. I mean, it's bad, but it's, it's not detrimental, really. Check this out. Ooh, golden keys, eternal chest with mum's key. If it doesn't tap out super quickly, this is going to be good. Oh my god, mum's key is insane for consumables, man. Absolutely insane. I took a token there by accident, my bad. Yeah, unfortunately, it did tap out there. But, pretty good stuff. Unfortunately, we don't know where our secret rooms are this floor. We don't have mapping. 
As I've always said, not having mapping is the worst thing ever. Unfortunately, one of those champions had less health, so it only killed him. Otherwise, it would have killed literally all of them in one go. Lovely stuff. Right. Item room, finally. Yeah, this is definitely a time for Misprinted Joker. Possession. Each room, one random non-boss enemy will be permanently charmed. These enemies carry over between rooms. Only 15 days can be charmed at a time. Taking damage removes the charm from all affected enemies, making them hostile again. Stackable. Interesting idea. So, basically, we, we over the course of multiple rooms, we gather an army. But once we take damage, that army turns against us. I think that's a really, really cool idea for an item. I think it could be quite strong, but also potentially could ruin you. I think the best thing about it is it just eliminates one enemy from the next room that you enter. That's actually super useful. Just, there's always one less enemy in every room now. And it's good that it has a limit of 15 as well. The imposed limit, like, helps it not be annoying. Um, we got the weapons dealer guy again. We got a range up pill. I don't really think we need that. I'll buy that, and I'll, I'm gonna spend the rest of my money on this guy once again to see if we just get any better active items. I am just curious if this guy has his own pool of actives, or if it is literally any. Missing those, I mean, undefined, sorry, is kind of interesting, but not really what I want right now over this book. I mean, so far, this this is a, a shit lot. <laughs> Bit of a shame there, unfortunately, but... Hey, uh, we've been to our item room, we've been to our shop, we've been everywhere we need to go this floor, I think, so... Try and grab our berry real quick. Luckily, it does seem like the charmed enemies obviously can still die. So, it's not the case that, like, there's always going to be 15 enemies for when we next get hit sort of thing. As you can see, unfortunately, we are taking our sweet ass time killing mum here. While our damage is better now, it's still not the toppest of tiers. Still takes us a little bit. We got there, though. We did also get a devil deal, but I think with our health at this point, it's obviously worth checking out. Wow, that's a lot of bombs, my guy. That's a lot of bombs. I'll take uh, Goat Head at the stage. It only gives us two more devil deals, but I think that's worth having. For one heart, considering we have quite a lot of HP already. What's going on with this room, then? Oh, I see. Okay. So that guy was charmed, but just instantly died. That's funny. Can I line this bomb up correctly this time? Because last time I biffed it. You got it. Coming down is causing issues. I'm pretty sure this is one of my rooms. Yeah, it is. I Actually, yeah, it was pretty funny. The other day, um, I was uh, just browsing through the... <coughs> apologies. Binding, uh, browsing through the Binding of Isaac subreddit, and I saw someone make a post being like, what the hell is this secret room? And I, and I immediately knew I'm like, they're, like, they're using my mod. <laughs> I could immediately tell that, like, yeah, they're, they're definitely using my mod. Because <laughs> I knew it was one of the ones that I created. It was one with a, a bunch of brimstone bombs in it. Oh, wait, we actually did charm one of the gurglings here. Didn't expect that. It does seem like Hedonist Cookbook can deal damage to the charmed enemies, though. Which is a bit, a bit peculiar. So that might be why we're not getting as big of a charmed army as we would have thought. Right, second secret room is here. Spider unboxing. Range up. Infested. Infested is kind of nice there. Four to six mini Isaacs. Okay, good stuff. Right. We've got that slowdown again in there. Still don't really know where the slowdown occurs or what happens. Maybe it's when we use cards or pills or something? I really don't know. I've not worked it out. 
Uh, I'll take this, why not? We are good to go. I like the birthday cake as well. Starting the next floor with a bunch of random shit on the floor is uh, potentially useful. Depends what we get. Bunch of stuff that disappeared straight away. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, so one of those was a charmed guy. I need to just pay attention to that. My little gurgling boy is doing some good work. Up to five luck though already, which is pretty good going. Right, so next room. See which see which enemy is the charmed one. That's the charmed one. Yes, it does indeed kill the charmed enemies. Which is a bit annoying, but also not terrible. It really depends on what enemy ends up being charmed as to whether it'll kill it or not, doesn't it? Because if, it, if, it, if a higher health enemy is the one that's charmed, it won't kill it. And obviously every other room we can't even use our cookbook, so it's not like end of the world. That's a lot of pills. I didn't realize that these were affected by Mum's thingy as well. Oh, okay, yeah, look, watch watch when I use this pill. Watch above my head. It does hold up this thing, so it's whenever I use a card or pill. I found pills. That I get the slowdown. Booster pack. I, 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 do, I do always wonder, does booster pack have like a uh, like disproportionately high chance of giving you better cards? Because I feel like if you had five random cards drop, on average, they wouldn't be that good. But I feel like I very, very rarely have a bad booster pack. There's always at least one valuable card. What we got there? Judgment. Let's plop down. Void blood machine. Freezes enemies. 12 coins worth of pickups. And the stars. Puberty. Estrogen. Good old estrogen up. Good old estrogen up. Try and grab all these red hearts real quick. But yeah, what I might as well do actually is hold on to this golden pill because I know it's not going to be a negative effect. So what I can do with it because of that is I can um I can come to like the boss room. And then pop a pill. What the hell? Ah, oh, we got the infinite loop. I, th there's one particular enemy, this one, as you can see, that with this item where it downgrades enemies, it fucks up and just keeps like overdoing it. Yeah. It's, 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 it's bugged. Um, debug 10, where are you? Yeah. yeah unfortunately, that particular enemy is, is pretty bugged with, uh, with this item. I've had that happen before. Is this guy charmed? He doesn't have any hearts over him. Looks to be. Wait. He's charmed, but the game doesn't know he's charmed. Okay, there's some shenanigans going down right now. Good, good, good. Going this way, I think. There you go. He literally just killed our guy, and that's it. Get over here, you. Tis boss time. My little dude died. Ooh, thank you. Right, um, I think we will go in here. So if we go in here and then we pop this. 
Yeah, now we get slowed down, but so does the enemy. 42 bombs, man. Definitely be using the one we can. Ah, you escaped from me. Ooh, the slowdown on this 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 phase here definitely makes it harder. We got through it though. Took me long enough to realize how this item works, but I got there in the end. What is this? Rerolls all pedestal items in the room into devil deals. Ooh, that's kind of intriguing. Just to try something, if I take that and then re-roll, yeah, okay, I can take this and this. That's kind of cool, I like that. Right, okay. Cookbook obviously was good, but I'm, I'm going without now. I'm going without. I've obviously sacrificed a bit of HP here for um, some items I didn't really need to grab. My hope is that this pays off. Hopefully it should. Okay, this is charmed, actually. I, was, I saw him firing at me and I was kind of like, oh shit, but he is charmed. Do not worry. Do not fret. Gotta remember that one of them is always charmed. Try and get as much luck as we can before we get to the, uh... Before we get to the last floor. Luckily, we always know if we're going the right way with, um... Spelunker's hat. Luckily, we know it's a turn around over here. Go back the other way. I, I just love it. It's such a great idea for an item. Oh, Lazy Worm, I don't think so. I would very much like my curved horn damage, thank you. Some rooms as well are just over instantly, which is never a bad thing. There's a lot going on at the moment. Mr. Triangle guy zooming away. There's a lot of noises going on right now. Okay. We got some HP from that at least. That's not bad. Obviously this HP isn't permanent, but... It's good enough for now. Yeah, there's a lot of noises going on right now. Had a feeling this was this guy. That's why I came in here. Don't know how I didn't get hit by that then, but... Okay, does that affect me? Okay, it does. Unfortunately, this guy can lock me in. As a familiar that's charmed, which isn't ideal. So remember, if I get hit, all of these guys are becoming my enemy, not my friends. Circle of protection is not bad. Right. Still a berry in there for some reason. We've got to be going this way then. Man, the single enemy rooms are the, are the best for us right now. Oh, we did get hit. I think I can just leave the the despawn. Okay, that. Wait, what's going on with these these dudes here? These guys just like multiplying. I don't think I realized that. I think these dudes just keep multiplying. It's kind of crazy. You're charmed. There's so many of them just firing like this machine gun of shots. Also, I don't know what this bell guy is going to do, but I imagine it'll be useful. He's got pretty, like, good HP as well, so... Hey, we found the pot room. This is a rare room, but... A very good rare room. Oh my god. Soul of Cain, I guess I'll just pop that. Oh my god, there's so many rooms. My god, good stuff here so far. Check out all these red rooms. Don't know how valuable they'll end up being, but might as well check them out. We can at least get a bunch of extra berries. And a bunch of extra charmed enemies. Which, again, don't have as a good thing. Sort of working this out as we go along here. Last one. Unfortunately, no extra thingy room here, but kind of expected that. I 
Okay, boss time. Pop this for the, uh, I mean that half actually hit him, which is kind of good. I'm mainly popping that for the slowdown though, because even though it slows us down, I think overall slowing the enemies down is very worthwhile. Because it's a pretty significant slowdown. It's basically the I'm drowsy effect, I'm, I, I'm fairly sure. Clearly doing us some good. Seems to slow us down by about 20%, but the boss down by about 50% sort of thing. Cycle Protection's doing a mighty good job right now. Right. Got to go. Now we've got to decide if we want to turn these uh, these items here into devil deals. So we'll see what we end up getting. For you, I definitely won't. Uh, someone, something's pushing me. I think the rest of these I'll honestly turn into devil deals. Um, obviously, Mum's knife is pretty goddamn good. The pact is also good. Let's take Mum's knife first. God damn it! So di I really wish there was some better defining way of noticing what's what's a charmed enemy than the slightly fainter colour and the um, the hearts above their head. I wish there was like a different like a, a, a tint of pink or something like that because it's just so hard to discern. I keep trying to kill enemies that are clearly my friends. I say clearly, not clearly. It's my whole point. It's not clear. Don't really know what's going on right now. Kind of nice. Okay. Trying my best to stay out of trouble here. Oh, that is a plus one life. That's pretty good. Oh, it's one of those plus one lives that doesn't actually give you plus one in the top, uh, top of your screen. I don't have flight right now, so don't get hit by the yellow creep. What's going on here? Ah, I see, I see. There's an extra enemy that I didn't see. The straw, I think I'm okay, thanks. Okay, boss time. Good damage here. My god, this this mum's knife damage is insane. Also, can we just talk about how pretty Circle of Protection plus Monstrance looks together? <laughs> Visually, they look very nice when they're having it at the same time. Anyways, it's a nice little win for us there. Hope you guys did enjoy another one on the streak. I'm enjoying the streak thus far. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.